Code Explain says hi. So today we're going to learn about how to deploy a React app. So we're going to learn how to deploy a React app to Firebase, GitHub Pages, and Netlify. So these are the popular ones. I'm just gonna stick with these three here. And also I'm gonna deploy the app to a web server. Which leads me to talk about today's tutorial sponsor, which is Hostinger which is one of the best web hosting providers out there. So go and check their website, which is at hostinger.com. They have many plans you can choose from and at checkout, don't forget to use the coupon code explained or just click on the link in the description. And now I'm gonna walk you through about the three main steps about deploying a React app. The first thing, of course, is you need to have a React app to deploy. So if you don't have one, go and open your terminal and run npx create react app, then your app name and you're good to go. For me, I'm just gonna use an app. We have just finished a build then, which is our to-do app using React and Firebase. You can check out the course in my YouTube channel. Now this is how our app looks like and this is what I'm going to be deploying. Now that we have a React app, I'm going to create our app production belt. So which means you need to go inside your app folder and open a terminal and run npm run belt. So this will create a folder called belt with a production build of your app. So when, for example, I look into my to-do folder, I found that after running the npm run build, I have this folder called build with some files in it. So index.html is where my app will be served and I have a static folder with all the files needed for my app to be working. But before you run npm run build to create your production build, you need to do some changes to the package.json file and those changes will be based on where you want to deploy your app. So if for example you want to deploy your app to Netlify or Firebase, you just don't need to do any changes to your package.json. You just need to run npm run build after you've got your production build folder just upload those files to Netlify and Firebase and then your app will be ready to be used. But if you're going to deploy your app to the GitHub pages, in that case, in our package.json, beside the keys that are already there, we're going to add a new key, which is home page. So this is where your app will be served. And if you're familiar with GitHub pages, this is how the link to your served app will look like at the end. So it's going to be your username, your GitHub username. For example, for me, it's going to be code explained repo, then dot GitHub dot IO, and then the name of the repo you want to deploy or upload your app to. So in my case, it's going to be to do list dash react. And now after you have set up your home page, all you need to do run npm run build and then upload the files to the repo. And of course you need to change some settings for that repo on GitHub. Uh, we're going to talk about that later. And now if you want to deploy your app to a web server, in that case it depends. If you want to serve your app at the server root, in that case you don't need to do any changes to the package.json. But if you want to deploy your app to a relative path, in that case, you need to change the home page here to this path here. And then run npm run build and upload the files to your server. But if you want to like deploy your app to different places in your server, in that case, you need to use a dot for home page. Now by using a dot here and then run npm build, then your app is ready to be deployed to any place in your server. So for me, I always just use a dot for the home page and then run npm run bell. And after that, I can choose wherever I want to deploy my app to in my server. 
And now that we have our app production belt ready, it's time to upload it. And now after you know the logic behind deploying a React app, it's time to see this in action. So let's go and see in action how to deploy a React app to a web server. So as I said before, I'm not gonna go and create a new React app because we already build a to-do app with React and Firebase. And the last thing we did is adding the animations to our React app. So our app is ready to deployment. So if you want to follow uh, along, you can create a new uh, React app or you can just download the files from our repo. Now I'm gonna open my text editor and open my app folder. And the first thing is I'm gonna go into my index.html under public folder and I'm gonna change the title because it's by default React app. I'm gonna change this to to do list. So that's the title of my app. Now I'm gonna go and start uh, the project so you can see how our app looks like. So we've done the animations and uh, everything's ready to, to be deployed. Now this is where we want to upload or to deploy our app to. Uh, now I'm gonna terminate this and then clear this and then run npm run belt. But before we do that, I'm gonna go to the package.json and uh, add a new key, which is the home page. I'm gonna set this to a dot. And now I can go and run my command here. So by using a dot for a home page, I can actually upload that to a deployment app to anywhere in my server. And now my app production bell is ready to deployment. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my server control panel. I'm using virtual main, it's, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go and open the file manager from the browser and upload the files uh, uh, from the belt folder here. So I'm just gonna go to the desktop then to do. Uh, this is my project folder. Then the belt here, I'm just gonna go and select these and create a zip file from them. And then I'm gonna upload this belt. I'm gonna click on upload. Now the build is there. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and e extract the files uh, at the server root. Now if I take a look on my index.html, you can see here that it has been changed. So now I'm just gonna go and refresh. And now you can see the title here, it's to-do list and my app is deployed successfully. So the user now can use my app. Now I'm gonna go back here and now let's say I want to deploy my app to a relative pad. So I'm gonna go and create a new folder called to-do list-react and then click on create. Now I'm just gonna go and select the same build files and then cut this file and paste them inside of that folder and see if it's gonna work or not. So after I paste them here, I'm just gonna go in my to-do list. So if I refresh now, nothing's there. So I've got this 403 error. But if I go to this path here, you can see that my app is working just fine. So because I've used a dot as a home page in my package.json, now I can upload the build to anywhere in my server and it's gonna work. Now let's move to the next example. Now it's time to deploy our app to GitHub pages. So to upload our app to GitHub pages, we first need to go and create uh, a repo, a new repo. So I'm gonna call this to-do list 
dash react I'm gonna click on create repository and then I'm gonna click on uploading an existing file so first I'm gonna go back to my uh, Visual Studio code and then go to the package.json and I'm gonna change the home page to the username of my uh, account which is code explained repo and then github.io and then the name of the repo we have just created which is to do list dash react I'm gonna save and close the package.json file and open the terminal and run npm run build again so after this finishes I'm gonna go back to the repo and I'm gonna open my like explorer file and then go to the build and drag or and drop all of the files into the repo so after all the files uh, has been uploaded I'm gonna go and commit changes and now the files are processed and they are there now we still need to go to the settings and then to the pages and and the source we need to change our main branch and then click on save now it says here that our site is ready to be published but it's not published yet we need to like wait for some time I'm just gonna keep refreshing this until it says that our site yeah so our site now is published if I click on the link now you can see that our app has been deployed successfully and I can try and use my app and see if it works and it does and this is how you deploy your react app to github pages now let's go and move to the next example and now it's time to deploy our app to netlify so first you need to go to netlify and create an account if you don't have one yet if you have an account then just log in now under sites it says here that if you want to deploy a new site without connecting to get just drag and drop your site output folder here which is our build folder now I'm gonna go to the package.json and remove the home page key and then I'm gonna run my command npm run belt and now our like build folder is ready to be uploaded to netfly so I'm just gonna open my to do up then the belt folder is gonna be dragged and dropped here so it's gonna be now uploading production uploading we need to wait and it's published so if I go now and click on this link you can see that my app has been deployed successfully and it's live now and ready to be used so if I go and like test it yes and it's working just fine and that's it now let's move on to the next example and finally it's time to deploy our app to Firebase so first you need a Google account which I assume you already have one and then you need to go and uh, login into firebase.google.com and then create a new project so for me I already have a project there so I'm just gonna stick with that one now I'm gonna open my text editor we're not going to run npm run build again because we already have the build from the last time we deployed our app to Netlify now I'm just gonna go and install globally the firebase tools so this time we're going to deploy our app using just uh, commands and now we need to like wait for this to install I'm just gonna speed up this so I'm going to clear this out and then the first thing you need to do 
is to log in to Firebase. So Firebase login, oops, we need to fix this. So if you are a Windows user, you need to go to users, then the user, and then update out in Roman, and then clear NPM cache. I'm just gonna remove that. Now I'm gonna go into the NPM folder and then remove this file here, firebase.ps1. So this is a fix. So if I clear and run and run Firebase login, you can see now that it's working. So we need to allow Firebase to collect da, 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 etc. So I'm gonna click yes. This will open a window. I'm gonna go and choose my account and then allow. Now we've been logged in successfully. You can see it here it says success logged in as da 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 da. Now I'm gonna go and clear this out and then run Firebase in it. And this is we need and this is where you need to be careful. So are we ready to proceed? Yes. Now we need to uh, like go down using our arrow keys to uh, until we reach hosting. I'm gonna hit my spacebar to actually select that and then hit enter. Now we're going to use an existing project because I already have created a project. Now this project here is the project we can see in our console which is this one here so I'm gonna go and choose that I'm gonna hit enter now do you want to use what do you want to use as your public folder it's gonna be our uh, build folder here so I'm just gonna type in build as the name of our folder now we need to configure this as a single page you can see yes and then we set up automatic builds and deploys with github no and now it says that an index.html file is already exists in our uh, build folder. Do you want to override it? I'm going to go with no, of course. So we don't want to override that folder because if you do, your app does not going to work. So now that this has finished, you can see that this has created two files. The first one is the firebase.json and the other file. So which means now that our app is ready to deploy. So I'm just gonna run firebase deploy and this will upload all the files with all the configurations with that taken in mind to our hosting in firebase. So after this finishes, they will like give us a URL of where our app uh, is gonna served. So I'm just gonna go and paste that link in our browser and you can see that our app is now live and hosted or deployed successfully into Firebase. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. So that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and like or dislike the video. Take care and keep learning.